presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. And if agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 34, NASDAQ up 70, S&P's off two and a half. Gold, gold contract up $51.70 trading in 2018 an ounce. We have silver up 38 cents. $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck fifty, trading at $69.41 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up a full point plus two ticks at 116.05. The 30 year up 31 ticks at 131.30 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading, all right, King Dollar trading up 127 ticks at 102.475. The euro is out here at a price point of 108. The yen is at a price point of 130, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it, man. You, <laughs> This is just as good as you can get, folks, okay? When I just did the update, you know, the S&Ps, you got to see this, man. I mean, this is about as great as you can get when you're trading. Bottom line is I was doing the update, the S&Ps were down at the 39.50. It pops up to 39.93. So you popped 40 S&P points and you gave up another, let's see, 90, we gave up another 15 just as quick. Bottom line, this is a market that wants lower price and I expect it's gonna get lower price. They just reloaded. That's all they did right there is reload. And let's just take a look at this. I'm curious, is it, it hit the 3A2? It went over the 3A2 to the 5.0. You know, bottom line, the expansion contraction Fibonacci sequence, folks, okay, hits beyond belief in fast markets. It just does. I have no idea why uh, it does, but guess what? It does. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. What do we have with gold out here? Gold is testing, it wants to test the highs that were generated out here um, a couple days ago. So if we take a look at this, what you're gonna see in the gold market, you're coming up to the, well, you're over the, you're in a, you're in a new range, number one. You're, you're, you know, anything over 1,083, you're in the range. The high that we're, that it's going after right now is the 2,031. Right now, you're at 2,015. We go into the, and the, I mean, the currency market, this is what it's all about, man. The dollar is running things once again. Uh, let's see, that's the dollar, and I'll get me get here. Okay, so the dollar rejected lower price, and it was right back to where it came up the last time. It added strength. The low, when it came off that low, was 101.546. Um, today we hit 101.915 and then it took off and we're at 102.503. Now, what you have out here today, Yellen once again, what, what that pop was about also, by the way, um, that was about Yellen's, they just released Yellen's testimony uh, that's going on this afternoon and she's back again saying, 
Um, here's, there's a deletion. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, so here it is. As I, this is what's deleted from yesterday. As I said last week, the U.S. banking system is sound. The federal government's recent actions have demonstrated that the resolute commitment to trade, the to take the necessary steps to ensure that deposit savings remain safe. Um, the new paragraph is, that, as I've said, we have used important tools to act quickly to prevent contagion, and they are tools we could use again. The strong actions we have taken ensure that American deposits are safe, and certainly we are prepared to take additional actions. Now, let me show you this, man. You've got to see this. Let me pull this over. I want to thank Jacob for putting this together for me. So, where do you see this? Now, this is going to be the new deal, folks. And what this is, this chart, if you can see this chart, I laid this chart over the, uh, maybe I can make it even bigger. Yeah, I can, okay. So this chart here, you know, they're worried about the regionals and they better be worried about the regionals because now this is a JP Morgan chart that came out with this, okay? But this, <laughs> this is like so insane, it's unbelievable. When you're looking at this line, this is commercial real estate, this is lending and commercial real estate. Now the difference, this is what a difference is, you know, you had the Silicon Valley Bank, they, they get treasuries, yeah, they're underwater, bad trade, the whole ball of wax, right? You have um, First Republic, bad trade, they're in municipals, right? See this, the blue line? The blue line is lending to commercial real estate loans. Now, the bottom line is that things have changed so dramatically since COVID that this is a huge problem. The blue line is the amount of loans that were done by regionals, okay? This is, uh, what's that? That's in the trillions, by the way, okay? The large banks, look at the large banks down at the very bottom. The large banks, man, are not there. This is gonna be, no, not going to be, this is the problem. This is the problem that, that the Fed knows, the Treasury knows. These loans here are underwater, man. There's no way they're not. They're, they're underwater. That is, you know, the canary in the coal mine. So this thing is just starting. It's not over. It's not even close to being over. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And what do we have? We have Block. Block got hit by uh, Hindenburg out here today. That's down $11.5. You have uh, First Republic, that's down 67 cents. Uh, NVIDIA's up 485. You get uh, Coinbase, that, they got hit by the SEC. That's down $11. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside of the NDX, what do we have out here? So you have Netflix is up 7%, Reg Regeneron's up 5.5, Micron Tech is up 4.5, and, and Marvel Technologies up 4. Taken away from it. PayPal down 3. Dollar Store down two and a half, Sirius Satellite down 2.3, and Marriott off 2.3. Inside the Dow Industrials, you're talking about a spread inside the Dow Industrials. This is pretty about as tense as you can get. Uh, Dow Industrials out here, we had a high today of 32,511, a low of 31,866. How's that for a spread? Point, point wise out here, what you have Microsoft putting 29 positive points, Amgen 13 taken away from it, United Health 46. Travel is 18. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up a 72. You get the Nat. No, Dow Industrials down 21. NASDAQ is up 72. s and is uh, off two and a half. So let's go over to the Qs again. What you're going to see with the Qs is that it went up, uh, tested that 313 once again, failed once again, going to fail on volume once again. That, there's, your, there's your number. The 83 million shares did 58. Yesterday, we ended up doing 80, 75. That was a failure in price and volume. Today, it couldn't even get to the high of yesterday, and you're going to fail on price and volume. We go into the SPY. We take a look at the SPY. What we had with the SPY out here, SPY, you know, got up to uh, 399.29 today and gave up uh, bottom line. <laughs> it's amazing what it actually gave up. Uh, it got to a low thus far of uh, 390.54. And, of course, we're not done yet. And if we bisect this baby so you already did a hundred percent move a move but that pop that we got you know and, and the pop was at volume but you know guess what you didn't take out a swing point the first swing in fact we didn't have a swing point because you went down so dramatically and what's going on right now is that anything under the 39207 is game that you are going to sell down like in an incredible way folks okay so you know we have 50 minutes this 40 40 we have 40 minutes to sell down this is not going to be a cool uh, close you know that's 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 how this thing is shaking out you know because you got to remember something we're still at high numbers man you know if, if i just put the uh spy up in general and you take a look at it it's like oh really you know where you know Five months ago, we were down at this 348, you know, and that's where that's where this market wants to go, you know. So, we'll we'll take a look at how this thing shakes out coming into the close. But my take coming into the close is that you're going to continue to see selling in an incredible way into the close, particularly because of that big pop. That that pop, you know, that was a machine pop. That's what that was. That was a machine pop. And you know, after I saw that chart that J Jacob uh, put together for us, let me tell you something, man. That is such a danger. It is insane. Now, what did I do with this? How did I get this? I don't know what I did here. I'm just talking about my chart. Is that an interview? Last, hold up, price. Sorry about this, folks. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Okay. So, Oh, look at you blink in this market. This is a 
Okay, so if you've never been in a bear market, folks, this is how bear markets run, okay? Uh, you blink and, you know, you are down, like, in up in two seconds, okay? So picture this. When I did the update, when I was on with doing the update, the S&Ps were just about flat. When I started the program, they were up, like, 20. Now they're down 20, okay? Um, that is bear market action in a monster way. You know, monster way. Uh, if you go over to Kathy Wood, she's she's got big trouble. So picture this: you take a look at Square. Square's got Square got hit today with Hindenburg. So this is one of her larger holdings. Okay, Square's down eleven dollars and seventy-five cents. And then simultaneously, Coinbase got a hit by the SEC, and that's down twelve dollars. You know, so um, you know if we go and look at Arc right now innovation, it's really not down that bad, you know, for the amount of shares she actually owns in it. You know, you're only down a dollar. Because if you take a look, and we, we pull this up, and let's just see Sir Holdings, let me look at this for a second. Okay, so Coinbase is her, she owns, out of the fund, she owns 7.5% Coinbase and Block 6.23, you know. And this is going to be only, only the beginning in both cases. I'm not quite sure the, um, the ramifications inside the uh, Square deal. I haven't, I haven't gone through the, the deal. Um, you know, but the bottom line is, is that you know, the headlines are that uh, there's, there's problems. Not, well, the headline was that there's problems. They were talking about laundering money and this and that. When you dig into it a bit, what it really has to do with also is that the number of customers that they actually have. You know, there's less customers than that's what they're saying than they actually have. The Coinbase deal, that's a whole different ballgame. You want to get involved, you know, with uh, the SEC and they're coming after you. And they make, the Coinbase makes a huge amount of money on their platform through the whole lending process, okay? And that's what the SEC is coming after. So that's going to be that's going to be a huge problem, okay? Because that, that, that's a problem operationally and flat out when it comes into the aspect of, you know, how do you make money? Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market out here. Let's see. We're on the April contract. We take a look at this April contract. You get a bounce. Oh, I see. We're rolling right now. Let me see. CLA. Yeah. Okay, here we go. No, I got the active one. Okay, so you got 311,000 contracts. Yeah, this is this still wants lower price. Now, the, this is going to be a classic also. You could you could oil can bounce somewhere up to 7342. That would just be, you know, a normal bounce in a market that wants lower price. If we go to the uh, XLE, we take a look at the XLE out here. What do we have with the XLE? That's coming down, but there's not, there's not a lot of volume. But again, that wants to test the low, but right now 75 is the low. That's coming down with light volume. Uh, the XLF, the financials. Okay, so the financials are breaking their lows. Like you're breaking them with light volume, but the XLF, see, the XLF, you know, the, the place that I'm bringing you to the, the spies and the Qs, folks, and the S&P, well, we're getting there in the XLF. This, this is, see, what's cool about this is that when you see these, first off, let's say you see a high volume low, a high volume high. What ends up happening, and then you see a sector that's going after it, your probability that the S&P is going to go after it goes up dramatically. And in this case, the XLF, that high volume low is $29.59. Now, the high of that is $31.62. Well, we're at $30.92. So you already broke into that area. You break into that area, your probability goes up dramatically that you're going to go hit it. Uh, we, and then we'll see the aspect of that if you have a breakdown. Because if we get a breakdown, you can see that the that 3012, um, you know, we've been there one, two, two times. The last time that we went up, oh, that's interesting, last time we went up was a 0.618. So, so normally what happens there is at a 0.618, 
it should hold up. Now, this is, what's cool about this? Because it, it, it went at 0.618, normally on the way down, you would hold that low. Now, if you don't hold the low, that is telling you something also. You know, so this is going to be quite a market. Well, it is quite a market. That's the real bottom line. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading um, down 49. You get the NASDAQ up 71. S&Ps are off five. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. If you see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 63. You get the NASDAQ up 65. S&Ps are off 7.5. Let's go take a look at the small caps out here. So take a look at the IWM. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so you broke everything here. So the IWM, you're down buck 43, you're at 169, 50, 500. That's coming right into it too, man. Yeah, we're going there. So, you know, it, it, the market folks, okay, the, the cool thing about markets in general, right, is that if you, we're in the probability business, okay? So, what we're all trying to do is get a small edge to basically say, that, okay, how do you build your case that whatever you're actually thinking, that your probability would get better that you can get there? Well, this is where the IWM helps in a huge way. The reason being 
is at the high of the same spot that the financials are going into right now and that I suspect that the S&P wants to go to in the, the queues and would go in that order, by the way, okay? Well, the IWM is already there. We're at 169. That pierced it today. 172 is the high of that. 162 is the low of it. It's going to 162, man. This is how this is set up. I put this on a weekly. And you, this looks at, watch how this goes, man, because this is going to be really intriguing. You can see this, the, the 162s, you know, basically sticking out like a sore thumb. When you get to the 162, what you do, what I'm going to do next is just so I can show you, I'm going to turn that and then I bring that into a monthly. So when I bring it into a monthly, what you're going to see is that what the small caps have already done three times on a monthly basis is almost got down to the highs of the lows of March 2020. Now, this is where the danger is in an incredible way, folks, okay? And what it is, you know, you hear me talk a lot about building cause. Building, the way you have to look at building cause is that you're working out, you're getting stronger and stronger every day, and there's some kind of a, you know, contest that's coming up and you want to go in that contest. Well, in this particular case, this is pretty intense, man, because when we're looking at this, you can make the case you get three, four, five. It, it, four, well, I'm just building cars for a year. A year. This is, this is going to be dangerous, man. You can already see, see down at the bottom? You have, you've already had the expansion of volume. When we look at, I'm going to pull this up a little bit further so you can see, pull that out. And then we're going to do, I'm going to say, okay, what was the biggest... We almost did a 50% retracement with that one big spike up there. So when you do that, what's next? Well, what's next is you can say, okay, what's the ABC down? You start with 244. Let me see how this thing shakes out because this is, you know. So 244, 244 would be your A on this. Your B is 190. 244. Your C is 201. 147. 147 is your ABC down. The bottom of this is 162. <laughs> Look at this, man. Yeah, this is where we're going. This is building cars right now to get down into the highs of the lows. And hey, we'll see, we'll see how it shakes out, man. That's, you know, what, what ends up happening, the cool thing about an ABC structure and the Fibonacci contraction expansion, folks, is that you can, you know what those numbers are. So when you know what the numbers are, bottom line, you're on the lookout, uh, are, you, is the, are you right in, the, in where it's going? And then when it gets there, the bottom line is that you're going to take your money because once it gets to those numbers, the bottom line is that, you know, I've said this, you know, nothing goes down forever, nothing goes up forever. That's just how it goes. You know, if you want to do something over the weekend, um, just to, you know, really understand markets in general, um, you pull up a bunch of shots and you're going to see that over the course of 20 or 30 years, there's lots of shots. I'd say the majority of shots, okay? Don't keep going higher like an Apple or a Google uh, or a Microsoft. You're going to see that in the course of 20 years, you've gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So in that particular context, you better make sure that you're getting dividends out of them um, because that's just how markets go, man. If you don't sell when you can, okay, it's a problem. So uh, volume-wise out here, let's see what we're going to have out here today. So what we did yesterday, we did lighter volume yesterday. So... That was, oh, look at this. It's going to be the same thing. We only did a billion shares yesterday. We'll probably do a billion shares today. So what that is, it is, is it a try to get higher? Bottom line, try to get higher. It had lighter volume. It failed on lighter volume. And that is very hard to do. That's what it comes down to. We go in the composite. Same deal in the composite. Composite did 4.9 yesterday. You're at 4 billion right now. Same, exact same type of setup. Let's go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX. 
This is, of course, the, all the gold equities. And the, see, this is a problem. See, the, the, the physical gold, my take is physical gold is on its way. But physical gold, folks, is testing its highs now. And what you have here is that the GDX has light volume. Okay, this is not a good setup. You know, well, it's a good setup. It's just gonna, it's gonna build more cars. I don't see, I don't see this pulling all the way back. I see this gonna be, it's gonna be build more cars. That's what you're gonna do. Because you can, we're coming into uh, 39 million, you're only down 22. But that would make sense, by the way, okay? What happens inside of the gold market is this, is that because folks know that the gold contract is so volatile, okay, you can jam it because it's very small. And the big broker dealers and the big traders, they do jam it. That's, that's what it comes down to. I mean, it, it's a field day. One day you're up 50 bucks, next day you're down 50 bucks, okay? When they get caught on the wrong side, that's when um, it, it turns around and uh, bottom line gets away from them. And it won't get away from them until you actually see us breaking with the equities going higher versus just the contract. Because the contract right now, uh, if we bring this up, let me pull this up. Whoops. Yeah, that line, I can, I can already tell, I can, I can see this. Yeah, see this, that, that sell down in gold, that wants to go back there. See, it's a high volume sell low. That's, uh, that's 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 not you and I are a you know retail trader. That's one of the banks that just jammed it from 2019 to 2008, and that will get tested, you know, because you could, we went down on 10,000 contracts. You're up on 304. Yeah. Uh, that's that's how it runs and that's going to be about the dollar that's going to be about the dollar i suspect what we're going to see out here tomorrow you get a friday i suspect what you're going to see the dollar wants to continue higher that's going to basically jam the, all the markets that's what it comes down to you know and the banks who knows what we're going to hear overnight dow dow industrials right now up 85 you get the nasdaq uh, dow's up nine nasdaq's up 85 s&p's up one stay right there folks we'll come right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 19, NASDAQ's up 86, S&P's a flat. Let's go take a look at the strongest NDX stock, which is, well, there's two of them, actually. Uh, we'll, do, we'll look at both of them. Microsoft first. Now, you can see Microsoft, okay, bottom line, you know, you can see you get a spike high from uh, last Friday. That spike high is 283. It has volume up there of 69 million. Well, we trying to get to the high yesterday with 34 million. You're trying to get to it today with 28. Now, because it's staying above its range, it still has a shot to do that. But that's an indication that, guess what? This thing is going to fail. That's my take on it, okay? And that's the strongest NDX stock except for NVIDIA. And we go over to NVIDIA and we take a look at NVIDIA. And this is how NVIDIA trades, folks, okay? The bottom line is that NVIDIA, bottom line, you know, has a high. Oh, did this get tested yet? Let's see. 275.89. It hasn't. See, it'd be really, it'd be really cool if it got tested today. So Nvidia spiked yesterday to 275, right? Then closed at 264. That's how it loves to trade, man. Okay, gives it up in two seconds. Now today, what ended up happening? It gets to 274.99. You're at 270. And in both cases, what you have is this. In both cases, because they are such a large part of the NDX, what happens is this: is that as the Qs go to lower price, the bottom line is that egg and chicken deal, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be the aspect that people are actually selling NVIDIA or selling Microsoft, right? When those Qs go from a price point of 314 down to 307, automatically those are going to be the biggest stocks that get sold. Because I'll show you in NVIDIA's case, that was like the ultimate yesterday understanding what a weighting structure does inside of the QQQ. You can see yesterday, the bottom line, these are 10 minutes, okay, because I was on the air, 10, 20, 30, 40, there it is. We went from 275 all the way down to 264. Um, when you take a look at this, now when I look at this, this is telling me that bottom line, you're gonna have a failure and this wants to get down there again, and we'll see where else it wants to go. But I'm just bringing these up so you can understand that how, when, how when, when markets can move really fast, if you understand the weighting structure, particularly inside the NDX 100, it's really helpful in the context of where you think the markets might go. Because sometimes you can say, wow, I can't believe that went down that fast. Well, it has to go down that fast or go up that fast when the indice itself is so baked on the amount of weighting in individual stocks. We go over to Google, we take a look at Google out here. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Well, this is beautiful if you want to go shot Google. Okay, look at this. Google's coming up to, it just overtook 73 million shares. It's going into 33 and you get 23. And the last time it had any volume on the way up was at 103. No, it's, oh, that's not that bad. It's 106. But Google's not going to make it either. That's not going to make it over. Just 
It's, it just doesn't have enough juice. And then, you know, in the context of where we are in the month, what we do have is this, is that window dressing's not starting for another week, you know? So, you know, yeah, when window dressing does start, there'll be more bread put in the market to be lost, okay? You know, that's the type of bread that uh, gets put in on a continual basis. The money managers put it to work on a continual basis. And in this particular case, it's been going down the drain on a continual basis um, as they are basically, you know, doubling down, tripling down, uh, all of the above. We go take a look at the uh, XAU and the HUI inside of the metals market. And we take a look at here. Okay, this is going to be good. So, so we don't get these numbers until after the close, 8 o'clock at night to be exact. Um, but what the XAU has done, you're coming into 21 million. Yesterday you did 27, which is good. So I said, uh, yeah, that, that's the number we're coming in. Says, oh, this, so this is interesting. So the XAU, I, I wish I had this number, 27, 32, Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what we do. We're still dealing. You're dealing with the same thing. But you're over it. You're, you're dealing with the... You're coming into 21. Yeah, this is strong, man. This is strong. Let me go into the... That's the XAU. Let me go into the HUI. Yeah, see, where we're trading right now in the HUI, two, 244.59 is the number you want to keep your eye on. And we're over it right now, but that's the, that's the place to keep your eye on. We're coming into 30 million. Yeah, see this? Okay, we did 21 yesterday. That, that's, that, we're coming into where we came off the highs in January. Jan, uh, Fed, no, February 3rd. So that February 3rd number, this is why I suspect we're going to build cause in here. But uh, building cause, folks, is where it's at. And in this particular case, my take is that the metals market is building cause to go up. The S&Ps are building cause to go down. And what it is, the way that you tell whether you're building cause to go up or down, it's how you're pushing with volume. If you, in, in the XAU's case, the HUI, you're pushing with volume on the way up each time you, you, as you're consolidating. And the S&P and the NASDAQ and the S&P, uh, the NDX 100, you're pushing with volume on the way down. That is how you can tell where is the cause being built. And the longer that you go sideways, the more that you can really understand that because it sticks out like a sore thumb, like, man, why every single time that we're going down does the volume explode versus going up? And on the opposite side, why, if you're going up, why is it pushing with big volume that it calms down and pushes with big volume? That is buyers that are coming inside of the marketplace. And as I said earlier, the building cause, if you, it, it, it takes, I'd say it takes about a year, year and a half, wrapping your head around what building cause is after looking through so many charts. Because what ends up happening is that because it's uh, subtle, if you get some longer consolidations, you can see them really clear. You know, like small consolidations like this are not as clear at the beginning. When you've seen enough of them and they're long, it's, you know, easier that, okay, man, this is, this is building cause. And in this particular case, you know, we'll see where the cause is being built. But... We take a look at the markets out here. You know, you get them all in the green now, but the bottom line is that uh, it's not going to mean a thing because you already gave it up. You know, it, it, if we look at the SPY, the SPY at 399 high, 390 low, you're at 394.25. It tried to get to a high, couldn't do it. You know, bottom line, that's the cause building. And particularly, you're going into the 111. Yesterday, we did... Uh, Hundred, well, we, oh, that's interesting. We did, we're did. we going into 111, and we did 111 yesterday. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 123. Got the Nasdaq up 130. S&Ps are up 13. Gold. Gold up 48 bucks. And silver. Let's go look at the silver market. So, uh, silver. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So, silver dug into the big downdraft yesterday. Yeah, 23-21. This is a good start, man. This is a good start. See, the downdraft, uh, going back to the uh, February 2nd, yeah, February 3rd day, that the high of that is 23.80, the low is 22.52. Now, this, this is interesting. This is pretty cool, actually, because silver has dug into this, and gold, this is what gold is trying to do. It's in there a little, but this is what gold's trying to do. But this is good that silver doing it because the silver market, folks, can explode in like two seconds, man. S silver is something that you cannot trade. That's, that's my take on silver. Um, you know, you can put up ten thousand dollars. You know, for uh, it's five thousand dollars a point, uh, which you know, it, silver is just untradeable. And what I mean by untradeable is that. Because of the, there's no qualified way that you can get in, have a stop in, because the spread inside of silver, meaning how it moves, moves way too fast. And the amount 
of money that you can win all lose, that's how that works, okay, um, is just too big. When, when you're in a trade, if the amount of money that you can win is too big, you better make sure you look at the other side of that trade. That's what happens with silver, you know. Um, and it happens a lot, by the way, okay. <clears throat> always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow morning, tune in, Tommy O'Ryan, 9 o'clock. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. We'll get them, folks.